Let's be reminded today that as we are reading through the book of Leviticus, that it is a powerful book of study for us, and that much of the practices of worship picture, in many ways, the person and the finished work of Jesus. In chapter 6, we read about sins that require a guilt offering, instructions for the burnt offering, the grain, the ordination, and the sin offerings, which many of these relate specifically to the priests of that day. As we read this chapter this morning, I think it should motivate us to thankfulness for Jesus, just simply that he has taken our place and has become the offering on our behalf for all our sins. May today's reading motivate our hearts to thankfulness, but also to faithfulness. I mean, let me read just a bit of the first few verses from this chapter to highlight what I mean about faithfulness. Look at verse 2. Suppose one of you sins against your associate and is unfaithful to the Lord. Suppose you cheat in a deal involving a security deposit, or you steal or commit fraud, or you find lost property and lie about it, or you lie while swearing to tell the truth, or you commit any other such sin. If you have sinned in any of these ways, you're guilty. You must give back whatever you stole, or the money you took by extortion, or the security deposit, or the lost property found, or anything obtained by swearing falsely. You may make restitution by paying the full price, plus an additional 20% to the person you have harmed. On the same day, you must present a guilt offering. You see, it's clear here that if we sin against someone, we should make it right. You see, as Christians, ones who are forgiven because Jesus is our ultimate guilt offering, we should live in such a way that evidences our genuine gratitude to Jesus by treating others well. You see, may our lifestyles be truly impacted because our love for Jesus in such a way that those around us are attracted to Jesus, not turned off to Jesus and his people. May our faithfulness in big things, little things, be the things that evidence the beauty of the gospel of Jesus.